shots we just showed you are gorgeous, of course, but the most impressive thing about what you just watched is that it was all rendered in real time. All of the images we just showed you were made using Unreal Engine, created by the incredible artist Andrew Svonberg Hamilton. I put a link to the full video below. It is definitely worth a watch, but this is insane for a few reasons. One, those aren't real. All of those shots were CG. Two, they were rendered in real time, meaning the images you just saw could be explored and adjusted in real time at that level, just like you would in an actual environment. And three, all of that is done inside of software that is free for you to use right now. So as the title of this episode says, this is the future of filmmaking. I partnered with Epic Games for this episode, but 3D is something that I've been diving into for the last seven or eight months. I started in more traditional software, but started making my way into Unreal Engine as well, not long after that. So I'm still new to this software, only about six months into it, and I come at it as more of a director than anything else, but it's that factor that has made this thing so incredibly valuable to me. And that is what I wanna look at today, what it is, how I've been using it, and why it is without a doubt the future future of filmmaking. Unreal Engine is a game engine developed by Epic Games with some incredible games being created on it, but very quickly this platform extended out to other industries like film and television, with the most famous use recently being the LED wall technology that was used to create virtual environments for the Mandalorian series. And what makes Unreal Engine so incredible is that it is real-time. Real-time graphics, real-time keying and compositing, real-time camera tracking for virtual cameras, and again, like I showed earlier, Earlier with photorealistic results. What makes it even more exciting is that this is all developing technology. Epic Games is working with massive productions, creating solutions for problems and advancing the software rapidly. Then they take all that advancement and they put it in the software and make it available to all of us for free. Then you have mega scans and the whole Unreal Engine marketplace. There are tons of feature level assets there to be used, again, for free. And I'll get into more of those assets in a minute. The last thing I do wanna point out before I jump into how I use this software is the new MetaHuman Creator. These are insanely high quality digital humans that you can customize then send to your project, which are very useful for look depth, which is a bigger aspect of how I'm using it right now. Yes, this is 3D software to create cinematic animations, landscapes, and virtual productions with, but it's also an insanely powerful tool for directors like myself. First is the most obvious use, and that is storyboards and animatics. I know that using something like Unreal Engine for something as simple as a storyboard seems like a bit of a sledgehammer on attack sort of situation, but it's the details that I think makes it so valuable. I'm not a 3D artist. I toy around a little bit, but I'm not super proficient in that world. But with the marketplace and mega scans, I'm able to buy or build out scenes that match my vision pretty easily. And this gives you complete freedom. I'm not locked to anything. I can change literally anything and get this as close to that vision of the moment as possible. I'm also building out a 3D world that I can move around in and try things in. Think of ways to play this moment I wouldn't have otherwise. And if you're a newer filmmaker, this is a great way to practice scene construction without needing a cast, crew, location, or budget. Then I could take this even further into animatics. After just a few days of messing around with the software and figuring it out, I was able to make a very simple animatic for an idea that I've been working on, this sort of opening to this series idea I have.
course, this little moment isn't perfect, but in just an hour, I was able to test out an idea with Tone to see what was working and show collaborators. But without being in production on anything yet, what I've been using this for the most is development. While building out a project to pitch, you'll often create visual decks to convey the look of the film and a rip reel, which is basically a fake trailer that you make from clips of other films to give a sense of the film you do want to make. But it's often tough to find the right thing. And it often bothers me that it's someone else's work that I'm using, which I showed a few weeks ago how you can alter images in Photoshop to get close. But here you can create custom moments to really land your concept. For instance, I'm building a pitch that I'm co-writing with some amazing writers. And though the rip reel will have some clips from existing films, I'm using Unreal Engine to create some custom shots to really focus in on our concept, like this shot here, which will be the opening shot of the rip reel. This isn't the finished shot, of course. I had to remove some elements for obvious reasons, but I was able to get this bathroom set from the marketplace and build out a scene that is pivotal to our concept. So this moment with some voiceover will start our rip reel, giving us a way to stand out from other pitches, but also convey our idea that much more. But let's take a walk through here. First, if I want, I could grab a built out scene like this one here, open it up, and I have this pre-built world that I can dive right into and start working. Of course, you can adjust and customize here just using this as a pre-built set, essentially. So I can change my lighting, time of day, and so on, all the obvious things. Then there's also Quixel Megascans, which partnered with Unreal Engine to make all of their assets completely free for Unreal users. And Megascans are high resolution scans of real world objects, turning them into photo real 3D assets for you to drag and drop. We can take a look at their library here in Bridge, just absolutely loaded with so many useful assets, so I can download what I need, then send it to Unreal and place them however I want. With Unreal Engine 5, Bridge is built right into Unreal, so you can literally drag and drop the assets right onto the viewport. And all of this is utilizing the new Nanite inside of Unreal Engine 5, so all of this is feature level quality detail. Now I'm not going to get into what Nanite is here, I'll add some links below that dive into that. But but Nanite and another feature called Lumen really are next level stuff, so definitely check that out. But I'm dragging and dropping Megascans assets and using assets from the Unreal Engine 5 demo to quickly build out a virtual set or location. And I'm just taking these pieces and kit bashing, smashing things together like Lego pieces, rotating, duplicating, and so on until I get a look that I like. And I'm just building out a sort of desert look here to keep it simple for this. And I'm just gonna like this with the sun and sky system, but you can, of course, drop in lights here. You can even bounce lights off things if you wanted. And of course, we have our camera here, which we can specify our settings with a widescreen look, shallow depth of field, we'll change our camera type and focal length. And over here, you can organize all your assets like you would in an editing project panel. And speaking of editing, you can actually build out your shots and animations right here and then play them back in real time. But you can also have the option to export your shots for even higher quality. But the export time is still really fast, especially compared to other 3D software. And it's an actual editor. As you build out your shots in Unreal, you can edit them as well, add music, sound effects, the whole thing. You could literally do everything right inside of this software if you wanted and go nowhere else. Now, I haven't really gotten into that side of it yet, so I won't go further with that, but it's definitely something that I will be getting into. And like I said, I'm still new, still figuring all of this out. So if you wanna dive in, there are a ton of amazing tutorials that have really helped helped me crack into it. I'll put a bunch of those in the notes below for you guys. So you can see now why I am saying this is the future of filmmaking. And I'm not the only one. Everyone that I know that has touched this thing or knows enough about it says the exact same thing. And I'm not just talking about big budget Mandalorian style filmmaking. I'm talking about everything from low budget film to the top tier with applications for everything from pre-production to post-production. And for independent filmmakers or filmmakers just starting out, it's going to become more and more of a tool to disrupt how things are done. I didn't even get into so many of the other amazing things that you could do like face capture using your iPhone or turning your iPhone into a controller to do digital camera moves. I haven't gotten that far yet, but those are things that I'm getting into soon and will definitely show in later episodes once we get those tests up and going. And honestly, there is a bit of a learning curve. It took me about a month to really fully wrap my head around it enough to be able to start building things out the way I wanted 
good. But once you do get a handle on it, you have access to all these free assets and a massive marketplace of more cheap or free assets all to build out whatever you have in your head and start creating like you really couldn't before. What I love most about this software is it opens up a world for all of us that's only limited by our imagination and our willingness to learn and try new things, which again is why this is the future of filmmaking. So check out the notes below for more of those tutorials I was talking about and more on Unreal Engine, including where to go to download and get started. And if you are not subscribed, consider doing that and hit the bell so you're notified when we put out new content. Until next time, don't forget to write, shoot, edit, repeat.